What's going on YouTube? Chris, you're back here with another video. I'm trying something different this time, but Ginger Mahal becoming the number one contender out of nowhere, like an RKO. My thoughts on it. It's gonna be quick. Money, 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 money. Money. They're trying to appeal to the India market. That's the only thing that could make any kind of sense of this. Because it's like, when we look at Jinder Mahal, wasn't he in 3MB and didn't they fire him and treat him like a jobber all this time? And then he gets a Snapchat popping because the guy is ripped, basically. Besides that, besides that and laying out Finn Baller accidentally. What else has he really done? Has he won a tag team championship within the last three months? A U.S. title, intercontinental title? No, I don't believe he has. So it's just, it goes back to, like I said, they're trying to appeal to the India market. They're trying to appeal to a ton of markets in. For those who actually saw Mania, you noticed that. You remember, you know, a lot of, um, anyone should realize this, that whenever they start a pay-per-view, they always shout out the announced team and then the Spanish announced team, nine times out of 10. And then they might shout out the Japanese announced team, rarely. But it's always our announced team, the English announced team, and the Spanish ones always get shouted out since the dawn of time. When you watched Mania this year, they said, all right, let's go to our other announce team. Here come the Spanish. Me gusta. Then they go, Poop. Japanese announce team. Oh, Funaki, number one. Da, 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 da. Then India. Da, 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 da. Then they went, they had an announce team for almost every flag in the world. And you're just like, whoa, this is different. But they're really trying to do this global appeal now with the network and um, the product. So that's why Jinder Mahal is getting a push. You know, just look at the money, for all the money. Um, but the thing is, it also goes to the arrogance of um, the product as a whole. They feel like they can push a guy whenever they feel like it. You know, look no further than Bray Wyatt. You know, you, you take the guy's manhood away. You make him talk a big game and lose every match. Like this dude, you know how Taker was undefeated at Mania? This dude is, um, what's a word for someone who never wins anything? Um, undefeated, uh, I don't know. I don't think there's a word for it. He's like 0-4 for Mania, which is pretty sad, actually. You know, um, they feel like they can push whoever they want, whenever they want, you know. Um, and here's the thing. No one expects Jinder Mahal to win this whole battle with Orton. But even if he does win it, all it does is devalue the title. The fact that you can be a jobber today and a world champion tomorrow says a lot. It says a whole lot about the title. That, that's TNA level terrible. If you're gonna make your championship like that. This isn't the hardcore 24 seven title. This is the world title. And you could just be a jobber doing all this goofy stuff, losing to Slater Gator and Hornswoggle one minute, and then the next second, you're battling one of the top 10 talents within the last two decades for the big one. 